today I'm going to be running an all out two mile time trial. So back in my glory days, I ran a 7.58 3K, which is about maybe 8.33 two mile. So there's no chance I could do that for a very, very, very long time. So I would say my C goal is to break 10 minutes. My B goal is to break 9.45 and my A goal is to break 9.30. In high school, I broke my high school school record in a 9.31 way back in the day. If I could run 9.31, I would be super hyped. That would be a local legend, big time achievement. So naturally, I warmed up three miles and put my super shoes on and got ready for the big time trial. Okay, my prediction for Spence is that he will run 9.42. 9.42, the local legend. All right, on your marks, get set, go. And we are off folks right out of the gate. I wanted to get right into this race as quick as possible because it's going to be the majority of this video. First of all, massive shout out to Allie for shooting this whole thing. And it's cool, we got the whole time lined up so it's really accurate. But as you can see right here, one time cut as we skip right into 400 meters and I came through in around 72 seconds which is about 448 pace so pretty quick right off the bat we're gonna skip along here through the first 600 meters but I got to 600 meters and Ali finally fully caught up to me feeling pretty good at this point but honestly feeling a little bit worried I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to hold this pace up forever and you can even just see the, the lack of fitness, the lack of efficiency because my, my arm swing is all over the place. I felt very heavy, it felt very not natural, but in general I am actually really enjoying doing hard efforts like this because I think this is the type of stuff that gets me into my best shape. When I have been in my best shape, it's when I kind of just hit the hammer hard with my training. And while we're talking about training, I feel like this is a great opportunity to kind of explain to a lot of my fans out there, whether they're new or old, what I am doing with my training right now. Essentially, if you go and follow me on Strava, you can see all of my day-to-day -day runs. I'll leave a link in the description for my Strava. But I'm up to about 40 to 45 mile weeks. I had a two and a half month long Achilles injury that I am finally coming back from. I do get shockwave therapy once a week. I think it's a great way to help Achilles injuries. And I also do some Achilles exercises as well. There we go, Allie. Just a little bit of a struggle on the bike right here, but still honestly crushing the footage game. Coming through a K in three flat, which is 15 flat 5K pace, which is really quick, honestly. Let's see if we can keep this pace going for this two mile or 3,200 meter time trial. But yeah, guys, so I don't know what I am going to do with my fitness once I get fit. I would love if you guys could comment down below and kind of give me your shout outs of what you think I should do with my fitness. You know, obviously I don't want to get trapped into the whole trying to run fast miles again because I've gone down that road three or four times and it hasn't worked out. It is my true love at the end of the day, but at the same time, I do want to try new things and when I get fit enough, I would love to do, you know, actual fast 5Ks on the road and 10Ks on the road and maybe half marathons, maybe even marathon type stuff. But yes, for now, I'm kind of just doing these races and hard efforts to get myself into a good baseline shape. I'm actually going to Boulder, Colorado for a month. I am going to be getting a lot of great footage there, so be on the lookout for that stuff. And again, comment down below if you have anything that you think I should do in Boulder, Colorado, or if you have any professional runners or people that you want me to hit up and hang out with and get on film. But let me get back to this time trial. I am coming up on a mile right here, about 200 meters to go before we hit one mile into this thing. and. Already, I already started to feel quite tired and unable to move much faster than that like high 440, low 450 pace. And that is a product of not having moved my body quickly for a long period of time. I'm definitely going to start implementing in some faster stuff once I feel confident with my Achilles and that it will be able to handle it. But here we go, coming up on the first mile halfway through this thing in 449. Let's go, baby. And right now, I want to tell you about our sponsor of the video today. I have been using Ketone IQ for well over a year now, as you guys know, but I haven't really explained what it is. Ketone IQ is brain fuel. 
It's a clean energy source without caffeine or sugar. So for me personally, as an athlete, I like to rip a ketone shot right before I run. It settles my stomach, it makes me feel great. So you just pop one of these guys. Obviously the taste isn't necessarily the best thing ever, but it's honestly not bad and you get used to it after a while. Again, usually on every workout day, I'll have one before and then I will have another shot of ketone right after I work out. Cheers. Ketones is available in any local Sprouts, so if you live close to a Sprouts, try one out. Des Linden, one of the best marathoners in the US and the world, also uses Ketone IQ every day. And also, over 60% of the Tour de France uses Ketone IQ. So if you're interested in trying Ketone IQ, click the link in my description below to get a discount and let me know what you think. So if you've been looking at my face for a while, you can tell that I kind of hit a wall and I'm really, really starting to hurt. This lap was about a 75, so five minute pace, so I've definitely slowed it down quite a bit. And at this point, I have three laps to go. I'm trying to focus up hard and just finish this thing out. And I might not be running even close to my all time best, but it still feels like an all out race. These time trial efforts are just so difficult to do alone out here but I'm addicted to them. I think that this type of stuff on the track is so much fun and maybe I'm just a certified psychopath and I'm okay with that at this point. I thought that when I was done running at a really, really high level or you know, chasing the so-called dream, I would wanna just stop fully running. But at this point, you know, I'm basically past my previous best and I do not have any intentions of stopping training. And you know, that should make you guys excited out there that I really have a lot of different perspective on it now. It's really just all about what you want to do and what's fun for you. And that's what I'm enjoying about training and just doing all these crazy efforts right now is that I just have no one telling me what to do. I have no expectations. You guys seem to enjoy it. And I know there's obviously some armchair quarterbacks from the side who are annoyed that I'm not like training as efficient as possible. But guys, you have to understand I have done my job training hard for like 15 years straight this is just sort of my victory lap of enjoying myself and doing what i want and yes i might get back into competitive running at some point and you know like i said i'm training hard right now but just having fun with what i do but anyway let's check in with myself i've got about 700 meters to go and, and i just don't have the aerobic capacity or the muscular capacity right now to handle it my form is kind of getting choppy and can quietly just getting smaller and smaller with my strides. But I was trying to focus up and just try to get through this last right, 600 right 600. here. I was trying to do some math. Uh, it seems like at this point, the sub 930 is a little bit out of range. I would need to close in like 130, which is 60 second pace, which is probably way too fast. So I'm thinking to myself, all right, if I push it hard, I can probably get under 940 and I kind of try to ramp it up here and it, maybe it looks like I'm moving fast, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. Allie did a great job biking next to me so it looks like I'm moving really fast in this and yeah, you can see again my stride, it keeps getting choppy and I'm not sure what that is, if that's just inefficiency, but okay, this is important right here. Coming up on a lap to go, 833. So if I close in a 67, that means that I will break 940 which would be absolutely sick. Um, and again guys, you don't have to tell me from the sideline that 940 is not the fastest time in the world. I'm aware of that, but again, we're just having fun out here. But you can see I'm starting to open up the stride and just kick it home. 300 meters to go, baby. Let's see what we can go out here. Uh, I really thought I was picking it up here, but looking back, it doesn't look like I'm moving that much quicker. I think as I begin to get stronger and stronger, I will have a better and better closing speed in the end of my races. But yes, we've got less than 200 meters to go. I'm gritting down, just trying to push as hard as I possibly can, folks. What are we going to run? Are we going to break 940 or are we going to be over 940? Either way, we are way under 10 minutes. And again, final kick right here, coming down the home stretch, trying to kick as hard as possible. You can really see I actually picked it up quite a bit here. All right, people, coming down to the wire. Are we going to break 940? Oh, it's going to be so close. It's going to be, oh, we didn't do it, but... In the end, 9.43 on the dot, people. We will take that any day of the week. 9.43, painful. I'm happy with that. It was fun, it hurt. I kicked it in, but holy crap. So painful, so much fun. 
Hey, we got a fast 5K coming up this weekend. So let's see you in the next one.